Millennial Monday, episode three. Uh, here we are in Florida. It's sunny outside right now, but I'm inside because every four seconds it changes. We were under a tornado watch last night and we all survived, but uh, it's weird. All of a sudden you'll just have weather hit you. And so I'm inside. Last week we talked about long, slow, deep, having a long-term perspective and a slower way about us and pursuing more deep and meaningful connections. And hopefully you took some small step towards that. Uh, for me, and in conversation with uh, millennials out here in Florida, the follow-up to that, that something really, really cool happens um, when, we, when we take a long, slow, deep perspective. Uh, if you think about going on a journey and starting at the base of a mountain and taking a long, slow, deep way, if that's our approach, there's a gift embedded in that. There's a lot of gifts and a lot of layers to it, but I want to get to one about the freedom that comes with humility. And I really think that true freedom is, I think Thomas Merton said that too, true freedom uh, is found in humility. So I drew you a picture. You want to see my picture? This is my picture. Uh, this is us down at the bottom of the journey. And this is a long, slow, deep way is to travel the whole thing step by step and you get to your destination because you've gone long, slow, deep. Uh, in our modern culture, we've, we've termed this, the destination, as greatness, and so we kind of focus on being great. We, the goal is get here, and that's greatness. And so the idea is we're innovative and wonderfully intelligent people, so we just say, well, I'll just skip right to it. And the, the younger and the earlier and the faster that I can be great, that's the point, because being great is the point. And so why not get there fast? Why not get straight to it? Here's the, here's the thing that isn't true about that, and long, slow, deep gives us a gift. Greatness isn't necessarily the destination. It's not. Greatness is what happens to us when we arrive at a destination, having become over the whole journey. If you skip straight from here at age 22 and you find yourself at the top floor of a giant building and you're the CEO, uh, here's what's gonna happen. First of all, it's lonely because you didn't cultivate any friendships along the way. There's no rootedness, there's no fruit, there's no long story along the way. So you are actually kind of a vacuous person at the top. And you, you can say, well, no, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true. I'm just telling you, it's true. Uh, the stories, the stories, the travels, the trials, the grit, the resilience, all the stuff that brings you along this way, that's the stuff that gives you the capacity to be wise and to be intuitively uh, um, accurate in a moment when you're perceiving uh, the needs of, of any given day. And you cannot, there's no bypass. You can't just be that. And this is the, the hoodwink that our culture has done, and I think that we've done it to millennials. We have said, well, the goal is to be great, and I can compare myself to everybody else's greatness. And so I see that guy, I see that girl, I see everybody, and everybody's great, and the goal is get greater, 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 greater. And we're constantly comparing to each other, which is a problem. But that, we're working triple overtime to try to create a bypass to get somewhere where even if we get it, a, like I said, it's lonely. B, it won't last because we don't have the muscles. We actually don't have the stuff within us to stand here if we haven't walked here. So we've got to be long, slow, deep. We already covered that. Here's what happens to us. When we commit to long, slow, deep, the gift that it gives us is we can start at the bottom and now we're here. That's Drake. But we can start at the bottom and fully embrace starting at the bottom. The bottom is not worse than the top. The bottom is the truth. Let me give you another Thomas Merton quote. I love this. Pride makes us artificial and humility makes us real. Pride makes us artificial. Humility makes us real. Bypass and going to the top makes us look like we're the suit or the person in charge or the top paying designer or whatever it is that we think that we should be right now because that's success, I'm telling you that's a trap. First of all, it makes you lonely. Second of all, it's not gonna last because we don't have the capacity. And third, it's just not, it's not cool. It's not the, that's not the journey. That's not life to the full. Life to the full comes when we're long, slow, deep perspective and we start at the bottom and we take a step and we take a step and we meet somebody here 
and then we take five steps with them. And then we sit down over here and we take a look at the river, the valley, and then the company goes through some really tough times and so we endure and we walk with them in that time. And then we keep making the turn and we go on vacation and we build some more friendships, we go through some more trials, we build some people, we lose some people, we have some conflict, we resolve that conflict, and all of a sudden, we find ourselves here, and this isn't the end either. This is just the first vantage point to realize there's 40 more mountains behind us. And so the gift that Long So Deep gives us is we can be humble. And I think that the culture, and I, what I hear a lot from employers, what I hear a lot from people in the business community or in leadership, they look down at the millennial generation, they say they're entitled, they're entitled. And I think it's, it's partially true. It's not just the millennial generation, it's not just any of us, the entitlement has come from the fact that you can Instagram a picture that gives us a false sense of what greatness is, and we filter it and we go, well, that, that picture becomes the destination. When the reality is, getting there, everything that happened, all the context around it, that's what makes that picture great. That's what makes it rich. But we reduce it down and we have this, this view that says, unless I'm standing here and getting paid $98,000 a year, I, I I got it wrong. And so I got to bypass and get here. Here's what I want to do. Can it. Flush it. Can that whole idea. We are already inviting you to a long, slow, deep way that just says, I don't even want it, even if I could have it. Even if you gave me the top job at a company today, I want to start at the bottom. Why do I want to start at the bottom? Because I respect that man or that woman that I see every other day, that I pass every other day, that's actually started there. They've been there. And they have a story. They understand the building, the people, the mission, the concept. And in year three, in year four, it's in them. I want to be that person, not the empty person that bypassed because I had a theoretical cre cre credential that empowered me to bypass. I'm telling you, that's lonely. It's, it's not going to last because the, the theoretical credential, it, it, when it really comes down to it, that it, you suffer from the pressure of that. So can it? Go long, slow, deep, and understand that the beginning of long, slow, deep, the beginning of the long, slow, deep journey is humility. That's the dirt. That's the, that's the ground floor. That's the starting at the bottom is, is starting with humility. And I don't care if you are, have a law degree and you get hired and you come in. I'm not saying you have to start at the bottom, bottom of an of a organizational flow chart. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the ground floor of our experience is humility. A willingness to be present right where we're at and not think of greatness 30 years from now. Don't take job one today and think about how it's gonna, you're gonna move the pieces and end up in job 30. Stop thinking like that. Long, slow, deep, and embrace the beauty of humility. So, you're just drawing. There you go. Enough of the visual. Humility. Um, how do we do it? First, be you. Be you. That Thomas Merton quote. Pride makes us artificial. Humility makes us real. Be you. Don't take on other armor. Don't put on other armor. Don't use, don't use your mouth and say, well, I'm this, I'm this. Spend less time talking about how great you are and, and more time just being you. Less time talking about how great you are, more time just being you. Be you. Second thing, be present every step of the way. Like I said, enjoy it. Embrace it. Almost get a ruggedness to you that says, that says, I love it. I love Tuesday here, grinding it out, having to think through stuff that seems menial and not, it doesn't, it's not the big show. Learn to embrace every step of the way. I'm going back to my drawing. This step is what makes resting here beautiful. It's also what gives you the capacity to go to this other vantage point that you can't be. So be you. Set yourself free from the burden of having to be somebody else. Pride makes us artificial. Humility makes us real. Then be present and embrace the moments of just serving, 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 serving. Take on the very nature of a servant. Condescend and just be present right there at that specific place that you've got today. The journey is greatness, not the destination. So be you, be present. Final thing I'll say is bring what you have. Bring what you have every step of the way. Be meaningful. Be a contributor. Bring value to the table. It's spring, um, spring training almost. February, the games start, and it's almost spring training here in Florida. So I'm going to give you a Moneyball quote. Love this Moneyball quote. Here's 
Hard work may not result in success. Hard work may not result in success, but it will never result in regret. Hard work may not result in success, but it will never result in regret. Here's what I'm telling you. Long, slow, deep journey. Be you. Be present in the moment. Bring what you have. Show up and just work hard. And you're, it, it may not result in success as the world defines it, but it's never going to result in regret. Because what happens when we work hard and we, we show up and we're present, just bringing what we, what we have, every step of the journey, that's where the story comes from. That's where the story, that's, what, that's the joy that we carry within us that makes every other vantage along it worth it. But you cannot do it if you have pride. Remember what Thomas Merton said, pride makes us artificial, humility makes us real. Welcome to the new age. Welcome to the new revolution. Welcome to the easy yoke and the light burden of not having to be great. Stop it. Stop thinking about being great. Be you. Be present. Bring what you have. Every step of the way, long, slow, deep. And I'll tell you what, if you go into your optometry school tomorrow, you go into your law office, you go into your school where you're teaching, you go into your art class, uh, you show up for work as a doctor, and you take on that very nature of a servant. You're just humble, and you're just present. You're just bringing what you have. It's not only going to be a joy for the people around you, the people who are above you uh, in, the, in the chain of command, but it's going to be an easier burden, and there's going to be joy, and you're going to have some good stuff. Here's the long, slow, deep. Here's to walking out every step in humility, starting at the bottom. Now we're here. Episode 3, Millennial Monday. We're going to keep the conversation going. Long, slow, deep. Humility. A way of being that we find out actually leads to a tremendous amount of joy and flourishing. So there you go. Until next time, uh, we'll see you soon.